Thank you, judges. Thank you, audience, for everybody that's here. Um, please uh, hold the mic close. I'm sorry. There you go. Yeah, I got it. Um, <laughs> thanks, Brett. Um, so, my, aloha. My name is Peter Hernandez. And I'm his wife, Patty Hernandez. And, and together, together we are bringing the flavors of the islands to the mainland. mainland. We founded Ohana Shave Ice in May of 2015, but our journey started at the Wishing Well in 2013, a small and simple shave ice catering truck on the north side of Kauai. We couldn't have ever imagined the experience we are about to have. Although the truck was simple, the backdrop was breathtaking. Palm trees were waving in the warm sunset with green hills as far as the eyes can see. As soon as we sat down after ordering our first shave ice, we couldn't help but sense the epiphany moment about how simple yet wonderful the Shave Ice experience could be. As we returned from Kauai, we brought back not only wonderful memories, but wonderful news that we were expecting. Now between having cravings and Kona Ice being on Facebook and all around town, we knew we just had to try it, but we were sorely disappointed. Although they do carry the Shave Ice tagline, we felt that it was far from an authentic Hawaiian style shave ice. The ice was crushed, and so it doesn't allow the syrup to penetrate within, so the syrup drops right to the bottom of the cup. Their flavors are bland, they're not from Hawaii, and they don't offer topics or centers representative of the authentic experience. So we started doing some research of our own, and we discovered a large untapped market. According to the US Census Bureau, and Hawaii's visitor site. Roughly two million Californians visited Hawaii in 2016, which translates to approximately 95% of Californians who have not truly experienced Hawaiian shave ice. That is when we decided that we wanted to bring the flavors of the islands to the mainland. The vision of our company is quite simple. It's to provide an authentic Hawaiian style shave ice experience with high quality product and develop relationships with our community and our customers. We saw an itch to be created on the mainland. It would take a fresh and colorful brand with a unique Hawaiian character as in the Ohana Girl, quality flavors unique to Hawaii, ice shaved to softness perfection with the quality machines used in Hawaii, all the toppings unique to Hawaiian shave ice, as in sweetened coconut flakes, Labrick's premium ice cream, tartan tangy lehimui powder, and the all-famous snow cap, which gives the ice the look of the island snow. One unique aspect of servicing our customers that was yet to be delivered was to tie our mobile business with a mobile internet platform. The problem we solved was not just being relevant because we were new, accessible and authentic to Hawaiian Shave Ice. Now with our new Ohana Shave Ice app, customers can find us, be reminded of us with our geofencing, be motivated to carry us around with their loyalty app, plus it made Ohana a fun branding opportunity. Ohana Shave Ice not only appeals to different demographics, but also creates a very warm and inviting response along with the Hawaiian Vibe appeal. The cream is in the combinations, literally. <laughs> we need to constantly consider how to stay fresh and relevant with our existing and new customers. Sometimes our customers come in and they want something new, or sometimes the customer doesn't know what they want exactly. So we created the Hawaiian Experience Combinations. As an example, if you want to go nostalgic, try our classic 50-50 bar. It's the orange creamsicle syrup, with a scoop of Labrys vanilla ice cream in the center and drizzled with sweet cream. Or, tropical yes. paradise. <laughs> Hog, melon, and mango syrups with a scoop of vanilla, I'm sorry, macadamia nut ice cream in the center, drizzled with sweet cream, and sprinkled with sweet coconut flakes. The possibilities are literally endless, and it keeps our customers coming back for more. The bottom line is just that. The bottom line. With our specialty combos, our margins grow from 75% to 90%. And with the exposure and opportunities, we expect our sales to grow another 
As knowledge of our new menu has grown, so are our combination combos. We are now looking at 50% or more of our daily sales in, the, in combinations alone. The revenue graph that you see right here not only references the increase in customer base, but also references our huge jump in sales. We more than tripled our revenue in the second season of business. And based on our current sales for 2017, as well as our projections, we're well on our way to almost tripling sales again this year. And this is directly attributed to the popularity of our combinations. We started as a typical farmer's market tent set up in Hollister. Our marketing was simple. Word of mouth, social media, such as Facebook, Instagram, and Yelp. We booked some local events, such as National Night Out and Movies in the Park, as well as some corporate and private events. We are proud to have earned the trust of our city as they use this exclusively for some of their events. The second year in business, our customer demand grew, and so we extended our season by three months, created a website, changed the design of our logo, and bought a restaurant business trailer, which allowed us the ability to be even more mobile and efficient. We also catered to big corporations such as Driscoll Berries in Watsonville, Keurig in Salinas, Genentech in San Francisco, West Rock in Milpitas, and Les Rock Tire Centers in Halston. That was their grand opening. Now into our third season, we started even earlier, and Ohana has bookings all the way through September. Customers are demanding to see us on a more regular basis, so we had rented a vacant lot where we could park our mobile trailer and serve them when we're not doing events. But demand has only continued to grow. We are happy to announce that now, and here now, that we are only weeks away from closing on a storefront location in Hollister that will meet our growing needs. As you can see, we are well on our way to exceeding last, uh, last season's gross sales. We have had $20,000 in gross sales within the first five months, and it's been really cold. We're not even in the high season yet. One of our goals would be to have a larger catering vehicle. While we believe being grounded to a physical location would be a complementary focus, it's not the core of our business. That physical location would be a kiosk or small building type of location with vintage Hawaiian vibe and small footprint and low overhead. However, in order to stay relevant and cost effective, we believe in adding the convenience of serving the customers where they are. The greatest aspiration is for Ohana to be a staple and buzzword in the minds of our customers and community. We are in the process of trademarking our name and getting quotes on a custom-made Ohana Girl mascot. This would mean a greater focus on marketing and branding. Lastly, we would like to add a line of personalized logo apparel and possible partnerships, which means we would need $50,000 to support these aspirations. You got it, honey. Ohana means family. Take that very serious. That is why we have such a firm focus on quality, culture, exceptional service, and personal relationship building with our community and our customers. At the end of the day, profits are not a means, but an end to a captivating product, brand, and good hotel hospitality. Through passion, patience, personal funding, and faith, Ohana Shea is established and has grown significantly. Our support team exists, um, consists of Ariel Chavez, Alyssa Chapa, Charleston Gonzalez, and Lupita Frausto. They each share our passion and have been instrumental in helping with research and development, marketing, <laughs> and growing our business. With the support of our customers, community, and you here at the Monterey Bay Startup Challenge, we look forward to seeing our goals come to fruition. Mahalo. Mahalo. So our product comes from Hawaii, the concentrates, um, they're not the, the, the natural things that they actually carry, but the simple syrup is just pure cane sugar and water. 
So it definitely is a lot more natural than, than your store-bought stuff. Um, there's other concentrates that are actually considered, so that we can add that line. You know, the main thing was really trying to get the Hawaiian, because this is basically the, the consistency of the, the flavors that we have that are actually already distributed in Hawaii. So it's just relevant to what's already been sold and what makes it all the Hawaiian stuff. Because we want to cement our market in Hollister, and there's a community aspect to it. Um, we've got a following in Hollister with social media and Facebook. We really believe that it magnifies itself. It's it's the difference between shaking a hand in person and you know the social media presence, which is very valuable. But we just really believe in that personal component, especially since we've been servicing our customers through even uh, events, community events, National Night Out, which is actually a, a big event for. If I could just add to that really quick, um, we have a, a really, really strong customer following and, and community involvement. And so um, our customers want to be able to walk in on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday, whatever, and grab what they want from us instead of waiting until we're out and about. And um, weekends, uh, we're literally booked through September, and we do private corporate uh, fundraising events and things like that. So we want to be available, more available to our customers while in a brick and mortar, but we want to continue a really strong presence going out to the customers where they want to sit at a baby shower or a quinceanera or, you know, and whatever, along the, the, short, whatever it is. The profitability we believe is still here. My question was similar, that your profit numbers, did those include the cost for a, for a brick and mortar store or are those based on on the, on the, yeah. On the truck. Yes. Well, based off the volume and the, because the combination sales have really increased our profit margins, and because of that, it's actually made up for. So our, what what is a what does a shaved ice go for? And what's a combination go for? It's anywhere between four and nine dollars. A regular is four dollars. A large is six dollars. If you want a scoop of ice cream in the center of it, that's two dollars. Um, sweet cream is an extra dollar, and then the coconut flakes. And baking wood powder are um, complementary, so it, it raises the, the um, profitability by $3 per shave ice roughly for each one. And when we made the combos, it just makes it even more appealing because people are afraid of trying the ice cream in the center of shave ice. They <laughs> don't understand the concept, so we've really had to push learning the culture of Hawaiian shave ice with our customer base. We realize that, uh, and we're still learning, but yes, we, we, we're we always dreaming the big dream of believing this could be franchised, right? Mm -hmm. And we're learning the phase, which thank you for um, SB, the, the, the mentor that we got, uh, that actually helped, helped us to understand, and we're still learning on what that means so that we could be able to scale in a healthy way. So, but yes, that's that would be amazing to be able to scale that way. Just to piggyback on um, the, what you had mentioned, um, we pretty much brought out all the Hawaiian locals out of the woodwork. <laughs> because they, um, you know, if, when people say, oh, we've had Kona or we've had Snowy or other ones, and then uh, we're like, great, now try ours. And they're blown away. Um, but you really want to te test your product when you're saying you want to provide an authentic Hawaiian style shave ice experience. You want someone to test you against that. And um, we really need to bring that back for them. They're really grateful for that, and they come back for more every single week. So we have a really good relationship now with the Hawaiian locals too, and they want to collaborate on different events. So we're grateful for that.